Today is uh, Sunday, June 24th. I'm um, going to update my uh, aquaponics and wicking bed systems. Um, right here we're looking at the wicking bed that has uh, spinach and arugula planted in it. Um, it's looking really, really good. Spinach is getting eaten by something. Not sure what that is yet. Um, but the growth is fantastic. And the, this is arugula over here. The whole rest of the bed has arugula in it which uh, I think it's ready to, to at least cut uh, the first batch off. Um, anyway, in my last update, I had shown the wicking bed here with the same spinach and arugula, and I'd also shown the arugula and the spinach in the raft system, which wasn't doing anywhere nearly as well. Um, that arugula is definitely better this week than it was last week. It's still not looking as good as um, the uh, arugula in the, in the wicking bed, but uh, the, the raft bed plants are looking better. They're still not where they should be. And what I did at the end of last week was add um, potassium to the system, which was to add potassium and also to lower the pH because the pH was running a little high, and um, that got it down to about 7. And on Tuesday or Wednesday, I can't remember which day, my, my caretaker said the plants still look the same. And um, maybe they did on those days, and maybe they haven't improved until now, but maybe it's just because he sees them every day that he doesn't, he can't tell the difference. But I think there's a difference, and I just looked at last week's video before, um, before doing this video, and I definitely think they're better. I mean, there are specific plants like this one, and I mean, all of these really that are, that are better, they're still not as green as they should be, um, and maybe they just need some more time to to recover from whatever it was that they were short on but they are better these are the spinach plants and again these aren't looking anywhere near as good as the wicking bed ones but they are looking better than last week and some seem to do better than others I mean I have no idea why this one's doing so much better than these others um, and some of these I'm gonna take out today because they're just like that one and that one those are just coming out um, the back row over here has chili plants and also in this in this bed and the first bed had them as well but something got to them they've all been they've all been eaten so so anyway um, I think the problem was the high pH and that was probably causing some nutrient blockage somebody commented about it in one of the videos as well and um, I do think they were right so on the other hand over here this is the watermelon plant that's in these other gravel grow beds and this is just absolutely enormous and I'm just gonna leave it in there because my nitrate levels are really high but I do want to give you an idea of how big these leaves are that's a foot across some of these are even more than that and they've really um, grown a, a lot vertically as well so I don't know if they're gonna set fruit I mean there's one over here there's a flower coming out over here so maybe but um We'll have to wait and see. Here's one of the bigger leaves. This one's, and that's 16 inches across there, or 14 anyway. So, and then over there, it's just, it's going from the gravel grow bed onto the fish tank. Now, um, my nitrate levels are really, really high, so I'm going to leave that watermelon plant in there because I think that probably is absorbing a lot of them. These are the, um, the readings. Um, this is pH, which for me that's, I mean, that, that's 7 or below, so I'm happy with that. Um, ammonia is not registering, so my bacteria are fully functioning. This is nitrate. That's almost off the chart, or it is off the chart. Um, and then this is the high pH reading, which I just did just in case, just to make sure that it wasn't that my pH isn't isn't uh, giving me a false low reading. So this this looks fine. Um, so anyway, that's it for now. I think I'm gonna add another bottle of chelated iron. I mean this this arugula here, this is looking really nice. That's almost as good as as these, but. Um, 
I'm gonna go ahead and add one more bottle of iron and see if if I can get these plants to to get as nice as the wicking bed ones. But anyway, that's about it for now. Nothing else to to uh, report. So anyway, until next week. Thanks for tuning in.